Wow, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Ace here when you guys a brand new video. Today we're gonna be looking inside Steph Curry's fifty million dollar crib. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this is something we could look at, you know what I'm saying? Indulge in a life of luxury together. So um let's check out Steph Curry. But hopefully that thing, you know, it, it's gotta be lit. I mean, you spent fifty million for a crib, it's gotta be lit. I mean come on. 15,000 square foot mega mansion is home to Golden State Warriors legend Stephen Curry. The mansion is located in Malibu, California, and was purchased by Steph for $50.1 million back in early 2020. Before we- First off, the parties that I will throw there will be stupid, I swear. Give you an exclusive look inside the mansion, please consider subscribing to the channel if you are new and enjoy the content. Starting at the entrance when you walk in, all you see is the might of the Pacific Ocean. That's most of the wall now that's fly i can't even cap that's fly walls are glass or windows that open up providing a breath i've never even seen nothing like that before taking view of the scenery along the coast once you have drawn your eyes away from the ocean you'll notice the modern design and open plane of the mansion this floor is the main living area with multiple seating areas and even a fireplace that changes color you see, if I'm having a living room, I'm sorry. Like, I gotta have, like, a TV in there. Like, a fireplace and your conversation, I go get it. I need a TV. Around to the left from the fireplace is the James Bond office. The office has a sleep... That sound like some Steph Curry would name that thing. He really... I, yeah. ...modern design, and there are even fossils displayed that were found when the house was being built. And once Steph's business meetings are done, all it takes is a flick of a button and the cabinet transforms into a bar. After That's fly. After toasting a successful business meeting, Curry's James Bond office is only a few steps away from the dining room table. The table is all glass, seats 12 people, and if Curry or one of his guests is in the mood for wine, a huge glass door wine cabinet is on the wall behind the table. Now, we move on to the master kitchen, which could easily be used as a restaurant. It's that large and well equipped. Alright, I'll mess with the kitchen. Like, I like the way to, like, you see the, the things on the, on the little, you know, on the side, y'all see it. Like, the, you see how the stoves are, and then it's, I bet you it's like a refrigerator and like shelving and all type of stuff, and I think that's fly. And I like how you got those big wide open counters too, that's fly too. On one of the benches, there's a custom food prepping station, perfect for Steph Curry's taco nights. The next, what that boy want me? What that boy Steph know about a taco Tuesday? That boy LeBron need to be over there. That boy Steph coming to the Lakers. Next bench has an induction stove top with plenty of prep space with storage underneath. This huge kitchen also features chilled wine storage and a massive breakfast bar for meals on the go. Once the Curry family is finished eating dinner, someone has to wash up. So to make a boring chore just a little bit more enjoyable, in front of the sink, there is a huge sliding window that gives a perfect view of the infinity pool and the ocean. But it's not the only kitchen in the mansion. I still don't wanna do the dishes though. Just behind the main kitchen is the chef's kitchen. It's fully stocked with a stovetop, multiple ovens, a sink, and a huge refrigerator that you can even stand in. Beautifully decorated, the chef's kitchen is surrounded by marble, marble. backsplashes and That's bench wild. tops. That's clean. Just bro. past the chef's kitchen is another seating area okay. where Steph Curry and his family can relax and watch TV together in front of another fireplace. Now we'll move up the stairs onto the second floor. To get upstairs though, Curry has two options. The stairs with the round hanging lights running through the middle of the stairwell or the elevator. The second floor. But you know, at the game, boy, you gotta come and be like, ah, I'll take the elevator. <laughs> that bad fly. I seen, I was just looking at like, I was looking at going, you know what I'm saying, take a little, little staycation out in the hotel real quick. And one of the hotel rooms I was looking at, they had a little overhang light that saw. That boy Steph on that. Is where the four bedrooms are with the master wing just off the staircase. In the master bedroom, there is another incredible view of the Pacific Ocean, which Curry and his wife can take in from their bedroom balcony. 
Man, that, imagine you and your lady got a balcony like that, son. Yes, Lord. No Mega Mansion's master bedroom would be complete without an in-suite, and Curry's in-suite is- well, I'm jumping off the balcony into the pool, what you mean? Amazing. Right in the center of the bathroom is a huge soaking tub, perfect for post-game recovery. There are also floating dual vanities on either side of the bath and another impeccable view of the Pacific Ocean. Steph Curry has a ton of clothes, especially some very expensive pieces. So, he is going to need somewhere to show it off. And where else would be better but in this huge walk-in closet? Fitted cabinets with glass Ooh. doors run along the walls so Steph and his wife can admire their designer clothes and custom apparel. The walk-in also has a huge bench in the center so they can plan, coordinate, mix, and match the perfect outfit. There are three additional bedrooms in the guest wing of this floor, two of which are connected by a balcony which overlooks the pool and Billionaire's Beach. Also, all three of the guest bedrooms have in-suites and walk-in closets. At the end of the long hallway is a door which leads to the guest house. The guest house is completely separated from the main house and it may look tiny, but it really isn't. Inside, you'll find a cozy living room fitted with a TV and a fireplace. There is also a Boy, stuff, love on fireplaces, bro. fully equipped kitchen, a huge bathroom, and a single bedroom. The guest house is simple, unlike the extravagant mega mansion, which also has a wellness center on the bottom floor. Part home day spa, part man cave, this mansion's wellness center has a huge bar, a pool table, a grand piano, and a movie projector hanging from the ceiling. I will spend all my time down there for real. Moving down the wellness center's hallway. That man Steph Curry don't game or nothing? He don't no gaming setup or nothing? That's crazy. There's an indoor jacuzzi room with oh. overhead skylights, a private massage room with adjacent steam and cedar saunas, and a complete indoor gym. Intense training, rest or recovery, the Curry Wellness Center has everything for the elite athlete. If Steph Curry was to ever get bored of being inside all day, his backyard offers some pretty amazing views and experiences. While there isn't a basketball court for Curry to get some extra practice in, there is a large astroturf area and an incredible 60-foot infinity pool overlooking the Pacific Ocean. At the end of the infinity pool is an outdoor kitchen complete with a barbecue grill, a pizza oven, and a sprawling entertaining area with fire pits and a beautiful onyx bar inspired by a boutique hotel. Now, man, that is fly. Now, I know we mentioned before that this mega mansion is on Billionaire's Beach, but as you can tell by some of these aerial shots, it's set back high and in the hills behind the Carbon Beach shoreline, 450 feet above the Pacific. Steph also bought a ton of sand to create a small private beach next to the outdoor infinity pool. That's fly. The private beach looks like a mini five star resort yeah. with white sand comfortable fold-out chairs, and a seating area. Curry also has a nice fleet of luxury cars in his garage. Stephen Curry's collection may not be as impressive as that of LeBron James and Michael Jordan's at the moment, but he does have an impressive array of exotic sports cars. You got to. 2017 Porsche 911 GT3 RS. Okay. Curry's pride and joy is his red Porsche 911 GT3 which he paid 188,000 for. The fine machine is indeed built for speed, as it comes with lightweight floor mats, magnesium door handles, and carbon fiber seats to reduce weight and maximize acceleration. The three-time NBA champion once said he is drawn to the GT3 since it gives him the very notion of speed. Mercedes-Benz G55. Everybody got At one times one. when Curry doesn't feel like prowling the streets in his Porsche, the 33-year-old also loves to take out his Mercedes G55 for a spin, which he paid $124,000 for. 
Curry ain't really go crazy on all these cards. Like he got millions and millions, and I don't, I don't think he gonna have nothing crazy on this list. Tacked with a 493 brake horsepower supercharged V8 engine, oh, come on. The dude. gorgeous machine is versatile enough to be driven both on and off road. On Curry dialed car. it up a notch by adding chrome accents and custom wheels. Move on to the next car. Tesla Model X 90D. Oh, you. Curry also. 90? Why he ain't get the 100? The P100D with the ludicrous. What are you doing? So got himself a car of the future in the Tesla Model X. Having lived close to Tesla's headquarters in Palo Alto since moving to Malibu, Curry embraced the lifestyle by purchasing the California bred car. The mid size all electric sedan boasts a futuristic design while its falcon wing doors indeed set it apart from other models. For $50 million, this home is an investment Steph Curry is probably going to want to hold on to for some time. But after touring this extravagant Malibu mega mansion, why would anyone want to leave? Hmm. If you enjoyed this video, so like, me personally, I don't feel like that house is worth $50 million, but I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous, it's beautiful. I don't know, and maybe it was $50 million because all the furniture and stuff he had in there, maybe with the infinity pool and like the beach, I know it all has to do with location and stuff like that, but like for like the size of the house for $50 million, I really thought it would have been like bigger than what it was, but I know that's just California, Malibu, whatever type of you know, style houses. But either way, if you guys did enjoy the video, please remember to drop a big like and subscribe if you guys want me to check out any other basketball players or anyone else's house or whatever. Just, you know, drop in the comments below and your boy will check it out for you. But anyways, this has been your boy Ace. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.